Hey guys, what's up? This is Afrom, it's Android's World here, and today I'm going to be doing a full ROM review and tutorial of my new favorite ROM, definitely outdoes Super CSCI version 4 and any other ROM out there. This is super fast, 1.3.3 with the RAM hack. You can see the boot screen is really, really cool. I have to say I'm a huge fan of the boot screen. Little Android guy right there popping out of the hole there. Got the little line pulsing over the black Android logo. It's just a really nice boot screen. Um, right now I'm partitioned to just FAT32, um, I don't have any FSSD or anything like that. I'm using the ENG SPL and the latest radio, and of course I'm rooted like pretty much every video that I put on my channel has to require. So let's go ahead and take a look at the actual ROM, starting with the lock screen. Um, you can see the boot screen does stay up for a little, for a little while actually, it was something I was surprised about. But here's the lock screen, um, if you can see it right there. It's just kind of like faded out. There's nothing there except it just says T-Mobile, the time date, and if the screen is locked. I think that's just really subtle and looks really, really nice. This is actually the stock wallpaper that comes on here as well. And here is the actual ROM. Now, this is the not this is not the stock launcher that comes on here. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of the actual theme the launcher came with, so I flashed the original beta of the launcher just without a theme on it. You can see when you actually do the highlight with the trackball, it turns orange. When you actually tap on an icon, um, sometimes it turns clear, but that's only with the stock launcher that comes with the actual ROM. So if you guys like those clear highlight bubbles, then you can um, actually keep those with that stock launcher. No matter what launcher you're on, though, you will get these ADW settings where you can actually customize things like show the notification bar, the amount of screens, the new drawer if you want the animation on, so on and so forth, which is a pretty cool feature. So let's go ahead and get into the speed of the ROM. This is the RAM hack version. I'll start up up on top and show you guys the battery there. Instead of the stock MLIGN green notched battery, he's themed it to blue. I just think that looks really nice. It is a black notification bar. And it is indeed my favorite notification bar I've ever seen because it's black. It stays black while it puts down transparent. But I love that little black sequencing up on top there. I just think it looks so nice. And I think it's a really nice touch that he put on there. I believe that's from the My Touch slide ROM. Another thing that's really cool is the dialer. I'll go ahead and show you that. Like, I know it sounds kind of weird, but I just thought it was a little cute little dialer with that little Android. Kind of looks like an Android baby top, um, popping out from the bottom. It's just a really, really nice looking dialer. Very minimalistic theme on it. You got that bar down here. These really nice black tabs up here that turn silver when you tap on them. Just think that's a nice touch. Messaging is also kind of cool. I'll tap menu and go into settings. You see you can now hit choose um, black background, which is kind of cool. So if I go into new message, you'll see the background is black, which is also a pretty nice feature. The market icon is pretty much the stock Android one, but with a black theme on it. If I tap on that, it'll take me into the launcher, but I'm not signing with my Google account for this. Just take my word for it. It's a stock donor ROM. Of course the market works. Um, there's nothing really to prove to you guys there. Tapping menu and hitting add, I'll just go ahead and show you guys all the widgets that come with this ROM. Again, this is HTC Clay's super fast uh, 1.3.3 with RAM hack. You can see it actually comes with a vertical power control widget, so I'll go ahead and tap on that and just show you guys it. Um, this is from, I believe it's from ZX Donut 2.5.1. I'm not sure if he was the original creator of it, but I do know that was the first ROM I've seen it on, and I actually really like it. Um, it's not my taste in terms of I wouldn't have it on my home screen, but I do like the actual look of the widget itself. You also get this cool little widget called Boot Control, which will allow you to instantly boot into recovery or reboot your phone, and a little auto-rotate on and off. You also get the Sony Ericsson Xperia X10 digital clock, so I'll just put that on my lock screen, um, home screen. You can see it right there. It's a really nice clock, but again, I, and I really do like the look of it. Again, I just won't put it on my home screen. So it's a really nice looking widget, though. You can see this ROM is really, really fast, though. Um, it does not. Uh, this one does have the RAM hack. There's a version with the RAM hack as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the applications. We'll launch open the calculator. Again, very quick, the stock Nexus 1 calculator. Um, camcorder and camera both work. You can see he switched around a lot of the icons. You see the camera icon has a little Android guy on there, as well as the camcorder icon. On the gallery, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's a little transparent Android guy inside of the gallery. 
Again, the market is changed. You can see it actually comes with My Touch Music, which is an application from the My Touch slide. He changed the screenshot application to a Nexus One, the settings, and um, it comes with spare parts, which is pretty nice. So a really nice launcher here. We'll go ahead and launch Open Clock real fast and just show you guys that. It is that's um it's it looks to be a little bit themed down there. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just because of the wallpaper. But um I think that's a little bit themed there. Go back home. Um camcorder and camera both do work, guys. That's pretty much a given in any donor ROM review that I do. And there we are. So you can see there are all my cords to my computer. Um but camcorder does indeed work. So I'll just show you guys that. Now that we're back home, go. I already got, I already showed you guys the dialer. Of course, Gmail works. It's a it's a donut ROM, so Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, everything works. So I'll go ahead and show you guys that real fast by adding the power control widget on my home screen. Again, this is my daily driver ROM. Um, I'm doing this video before I set it up exactly how I like it because I don't want to have to redo that. So I'll go ahead and do power control, and I'll turn on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and show you guys that. They are both working. You'll see the indicators pop up there. You see they both light up blue, and when they actually turn completely blue is when they will be on. So they got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, which is pretty cool. Turn those back off to save power. Um, five home screens, you'll get that stock as well. Um, I do believe you can auto-rotate on the home screen like pretty much every donor run out there right now. And of course, you can slide open your keyboard to do that as well. Uh, I've had a lot of people telling me why I don't show that anymore, so I figured I'd show you guys that. I'll launch open the browser real fast and just show you guys this final final thing other than the wallpaper gallery. Go ahead and tap the URL bar. Show you guys the stock keyboard that comes on here is this black glossy keyboard. I'll go ahead and go to yahoo.com and let that load up. You can see he themed the browser as well. It's black up there and it has that blue loading bar. So you will see black and blue a lot of places here. And uh, let's go to the regular Yahoo site real fast. We'll go to desktop, make sure more. Yeah, so multi touch doesn't work here. We will go to the desktop version of it and just show you guys multi touch. It is there, and double tap zooming works as well. And last but not least, I'll sh you can see it just jumps right back to the home screen, no delay or anything. I'll show you guys the wallpaper gallery. We've seen this wallpaper gallery in pretty much a lot of the donut rooms out there today. I'm not sure if that last image, yeah, okay. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Very, very nice ROM. Highly recommend this over any other ROM out there right now. So let's go ahead and put this on our phone. Let's go ahead and plug the USB cable into the bottom of our phone. Scroll down the notification bar, which I love so much. Tap USB connected and hit mount and go to the computer. Alright guys, so now all we're going to want to do is just drag and drop super fast 1.3.3 onto the root of our SD card. That is a 47.1 megabyte file. We're going to let that finish. Alright guys, now that that's pretty much done, we're just going to safely eject our phone from the computer and go back to it. Alright guys, now all we're going to do is unplug the USB cable from the bottom of our phone and wait for the preparing SD card logo to pop up and then go away. Then we're going to hold down the end call button once it actually goes away which is right now, we're going to hold down the end call button and then we're going to tap reboot phone and hit OK and when the phone successfully turns off we're going to hold down the home key so that we can boot straight into recovery which is right now and then once we're in recovery it is indeed just a simple wipe and flash process you're just going to wipe and then flash the ROM so let's go ahead and wait for that to boot into recovery and hopefully you guys have on the raw latest 1.6.2 recovery image which I do have a video tutorial on if you're on a T-Mobile G1 then we're just going to scroll down to wipe and do a full data slash factory reset. Then go back, go to flash zip from SD card and flash the actual super fast 1.3.3. Alright guys, now that we're done, just hit reboot system now and let your phone boot up. Alright guys, the one really, really quick thing I wanted to show you guys is that Android logo right there. You can see when the hand pops up, it has that little Android guy on the hand. Just thought that was a cool little thing to show you guys. And this is the stock launcher you'll get when you're done. You see it has like two labs there or something, and you tap right in the middle of it, and it gets that little blue dot, turns into the home key. Touch that again, and it goes away. But other than that, guys, that's my full ROM review and tutorial, and you will be running the ROM when you are done. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys rate this video a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash androidsworld, and I'll see you guys later.